Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Daniel here. If you're a new subscriber, welcome. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support, you guys. So today's video is going to be a quick thrift haul session. For those of you who do not know what that is, it's basically a video showcasing thrifted finds that have been sitting in a dead pile that I have not been able to showcase on a video that I've bought in like months or maybe recent. It's just been, you know, sitting in the garage and I haven't been able to showcase them in a video. So that's what this whole session is about. I do a few of them here and there occasionally. So that's what today's video is going to be about. I also have some magic mail that I wanted to go ahead and share with you from a fabulous friend that I want to shout out as well. And I have my comment of the day that's coming up as well. So before we get started with all the fun, make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. Hit the notification bell so you're notified when I drop a video weekly, you guys. And you're more than welcome to follow me on social media on Instagram. And you can find me under second underscore chance underscore love underscore. So happy week, guys. I hope that this is a new day um, that brings a lot of excitement for you guys. And we start off with a good week and in the right direction, definitely. So for today's comment of the day, as always, it will be right here. Goes out to the fabulous Shanji's home decor and lifestyle. Hi Daniel, great deal on the galvanized flower planters. Your goodwill always has a lot of ray done. What a blessing. I visited Magnolia when I went to Waco and it was so much fun. The store, the restaurant, coffee shop and the discount store. I absolutely loved visiting Waco when I was in Texas. If you did not know, I did get the chance to visit Texas when my husband was out there for work last year and I really enjoyed my visit there. We went to the Magnolia Silos, which Magnolia is also the brand that's in collaboration with Hearth and Hand and Target. But of course, Joanna Gaines has her own brand in Waco and her own stores and everything. It's so cool, you guys. So thank you so much, Shanji. I absolutely appreciate you for commenting on the video. Definitely make sure to head on over to Shanji's channel, you guys. She's so amazing. She's such, she's such a sweetheart and she does so amazingly detailed displays. I definitely recommend that you guys head on over so you guys can get a source of inspiration from her channel. I'll go ahead and link her channel in the description box below as well. So today's magic mail goes out to my other fabulous friend, Sherelle from Crafty Girl Down South, you guys. Sherelle, thank you so much. It was such a wonderful feeling coming home and finding the package and opening up the goodies. I really appreciate you so much, my friend. Definitely make sure to also head on over to her channel if you aren't already. And I'm gonna sh share with you guys the items that she sent me really quick. So she knows that I love vintage Christmas. So she sent me these adorable Christmas ceramic figures. They are home co. They are vintage galore and they're absolutely so cute. This little mouse as Santa. And then this, I think is supposed to be one of like, the Christmas elves and he's building a little train. So I absolutely love these. Thank you so much, my friend. You really, really made my day. Thank you also for the lovely card and the beautiful message. I appreciate you so much. She also sent me these carrots, which are so, so adorable. And I cannot wait to utilize them in my home decor. Make sure that you guys stay tuned because I will be sharing my Easter tour, home tour decor and my farmhouse style revamp that I'm doing in my home currently in a future video. And she also sent me these beautiful, beautiful towels. And I already know the perfect place for this. So thank you so much again, my friend. I really, really appreciate you sending me out these goodies. It really made a big difference in my day. And I was so, so happy to receive it. So let's go ahead and get started with the quick thrift haul session. Again, you guys, these are items that I have had but have not had the chance to showcase. The very first one is being this bucket. 
So it's a regular black metal bucket. Um, I'm not really sure what you could have used this for. I'm thinking Halloween candy. It is Halloween themed. I just love this beautiful print. It's look, it's very vintage. Absolutely, absolutely vintage print. I love the pumpkin, the cats, and it's just, it's so pretty. And I think that's supposed to be a witch, a little girl dressed as a witch. I think it's absolutely so cute. Um, it does have it on the other side, but I think this might have been displayed outside because this looks like it's been eaten by the sun. The colors have faded compared to this side, which are still very vibrant. And this was a Goodwill find for $2.99. And you guys, it used to be from Home Goods when it was originally $7.99. So I just thought it would be a really, really cute item for Halloween. I could use it to either hold candy if I'm giving out candy or... Um, oh, the patio. I'm going to be putting stuff out in the patio and I could always trade it off for one of the galvanized buckets. If you guys uh, saw that previous video, I could always just switch it out and um, for the Halloween theme. The next one is this April Showers Spritzer. It's supposed to be for plants. It still works and it's a used item. It's so pretty. I love this blue. It's like a Tiffany blue and it says April showers in the front. There is the handle and the pump. And this was actually a Salvation Army find for only 99 cents. So 99 cents for this little cutie. I think this is going to be so perfect for when I start decorating for more like spring. Right now, I actually have already finished decorating for the hutch for easter but that's going to be on a different video you guys so i will share all of that with you coming up soon okay the next item brought me a lot of nostalgia um me and hubby had a chance to visit new orleans i think it's been more than five years it was when we were like dating like maybe we were three three maybe three years together four years together and we had the pleasure of visiting new orleans nola and i absolutely fell in love with the city it was such an enchanting trip and it was so much fun and you know i worried because i don't like seafood but i was able to eat very well i loved it the food was delicious the atmosphere and just everything about new orleans is so magical so when i found this at goodwill it was only 99 cents it's a ceramic mug and it's from cafe du monde and it says original french market coffee stand new orleans louisiana coffee and beignets the original french market coffee stand serving cafe a light, sorry, I, I don't speak French. Sorry if I butchered that. And hot beignets, French donuts, 24 hours a day, year round. This familiar New Orleans landmark has been located in the French Quarter since 1862. So this is so lovely. This is how it looks like to this day. I, we had such a blast at New Orleans and every night we would go to Cafe Du Monde. We were there for like four days, but every night we made it a trip to this place because the beignets were so, so delicious, you guys. We would literally order like, I think it was three beignets each. I would drink them with a glass of milk. So delicious. They are so good. The closest thing that I have gotten to here in California is at Disneyland in the jazz restaurant in downtown Disney. There's a jazz, jazz restaurant and they actually use the same mix that they make at Cafe Du Monde. They actually have the boxes displayed out in the front and they use the same mix for making beignets there. So I was like, oh my God, they're so good. I love it. So it just brought me a lot of nostalgia from the good times when me and hubby went to New Orleans and I absolutely loved it. I also do come across a lot of Starbucks items, you guys. Most of them mugs. I have ran into some ceramic tumblers, but most of them are mugs. So I absolutely fell in love with this one. It's the California Adventure. It's a Disney Parks mug. And this one was from Savers. It was $4.99. And this is themed out to California Adventure, which is the second theme park across Disneyland. It's part of the Starbucks You Are Here collection. And again, this, there's no way this, this was such a steal. I think they cost close to 20 or $25 at the parks. 
Um, I don't think they sell this one anymore. I think they have changed it. Every year they bring out like a different design. So this one is from 2000. It usually tells you the year, but it doesn't say it on here. Yeah, usually it always tells you the year. That's weird. But I think this was like a few years old already. So I absolutely love it. It's so adorable. And I, you can't beat the price. Like, it's definitely going to be a lot more expensive in the park. And last but not least, I have a Ray Dunn item. And it's this very pretty ceramic dish. It's an oval plate. It's really cute. It's an older piece. It does not have a serial number that's usually down here or down here. And it was only $1.99 at Goodwill. And it has red and blue like uh, beach chairs. I think they're so cute. And it says breathe. So this is going to be a very cute stable piece for my 4th of July setup. Let me know in the comments below. I don't think I've seen anybody find any 4th of July items already out that are Ray Dunn, but let me know if you guys have seen anything in your stores because I am going to want to pick up a few pieces for 4th of July. So as soon as they come out, I want to get them so I don't have any problems finding them later. But that is the end of today's video, you guys. Let me know in the comments below what was your favorite item out of the quick thrift haul session. Let me know if you would have picked these items up, what stood out for you. You guys know that I always love talking to you guys on a one-on-one -on -one interaction. So I hope that this video finds you guys all well, that you may have a wonderful week and make sure to stay tuned because I have a lot more videos coming out. I am almost done putting everything together for my house tour and I'm very, very excited to share that with you guys. So until next time, this is Daniel from Second Chance Love wishing you guys a wonderful week. Mwah. Bye!